I'd like to show you the purpose of Venn diagram. It's a way to figure it out what direction you should be going based on on your passion. And it really starts with uh, it's basic four circles and it's uh, the circles intercept. And in the middle you have what your your purpose in life life should be. Um, so what the first circle is what you love to do. Uh, the other one is what you're good at. The other one is what you are paid for. And the fourth circle is what the world needs. Now, what you love to do and what you're good at, the interception, the intersection, that's uh, your passions. Something that you're really good at and you love at the same time. It's, um, it's ideal. Um, and what you're good at and you get paid for is usually profession. And what the world needs and what you're paid for, the vocation. And your mission could be, maybe you're not really good at something, but the world really needs it. That could be your mission. Or you could gather the resources of the people in order to accomplish that mission. Um, because you really love to do that. Because you think it's very important. And the intersection of the four circles, that could be your your purpose. Now it's obviously easy to visualize this, but how does they actually translate into what should I do next? Well, the process in itself, I think it's important to devote some, some time to it. And um, you could start listing things that you are you think that fill in all these um, all these areas and see which ones intercept and which ones you can do. Um, I think whatever you do, you should have passion for it. And it's really going to be very hard to find something where you're really good at, you really love it, the world needs it so much that they're actually going to, you know, somebody's going to be able to pay for that. Uh, there's something for sure. If you become really good at something, it's very likely that you're going to devote a passion for it because to become some really good at something you're gonna have to devote a lot of time and like Steve Jobs said it's very hard to succeed at something if you were not passionate in the first time how are you gonna devote all the thousands of hours that it takes to excel at something if you're not genuinely passionate about it so just think about the things that you've you've done that nobody has asked you and that you really enjoy doing because maybe you're not that good at it right now. But the good thing is that if you put many hours at it, you become better. And that was just maybe a, a hobby. It, it could become a passion, a monetizable passion. Uh, it doesn't have to be that way. But if you were to list those things... That's one. The other one is very easy. There's people that if you're already really good at something, usually it's easier to monetize that because the moment you're uh, good at something, that means that there's not that many people that are as good as you. So you're going to be sought uh, after for that, for those skills. And, um, and then ideally, whatever you're good at, it's also something that can help the, the world, that can provide value because you could be really good at a lot of things that are completely useless for the world as a whole. Uh, and, and then, you know, nobody's really going to want to pay for that. Or you could be really good at things that aren't bad for the world. And it's like, okay, maybe you could monetize that, but you're actually not providing any value. So anyways, it's something to think about. And... Um, if before you take the next step, um, just list a little bit of those things on these areas and maybe that will give you a hint. Hey, did you enjoy this video? If you want to see more like this, just subscribe here. If you want a free gift, click here. Yeah. Which one is going to be the one you click?